In today's message, I want to discuss a topic that I believe impedes many of us from reaching our full potential in personal growth, and that is the perilous habit of comparison. We live in a society where we are constantly bombarded with images and stories of people who appear to have it all together, who seem to be living their best lives, while we feel stuck and inadequate. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing ourselves to others and feeling like we're not measuring up. But I'm here to tell you that comparison is the enemy of progress. It robs us of our joy, motivation, and most importantly, our own unique journey towards personal growth. The truth is, we are all on our own paths, and comparing ourselves to others only distracts us from our own growth and potential. But the good news is, you're not alone in this struggle. By listening to this message, you can turn things around and learn how to embrace your own journey and make progress towards your personal growth. So let's dive in and discover the five reasons why comparison is the enemy of progress and personal growth. Starting with number five, have you ever found yourself scrolling through social media, looking at other people's lives and feeling inadequate? Have you ever compared your success, your possessions, your relationships to those of others and felt like you were falling short? If your answer is yes, then you are not alone. We have all fallen into the comparison trap at some point in our lives. And let me tell you, it is a trap that is easy to fall into but difficult to escape. You see, comparison is a natural human tendency. We are wired to compare ourselves to others, to see where we stand in relation to them. And in today's society, with the rise of social media, it has become even more prevalent. We are bombarded with images and stories of people who seem to have it all, the perfect body, the dream job, the ideal relationship. And it's easy to get caught up in this never-ending cycle of comparison, where we constantly measure ourselves against others and feel like we're not good enough. But here's the thing. Comparison is a losing game. It is a game that we can never win because there will always be someone who is smarter, richer, more successful than us. And when we constantly compare ourselves to others, we are setting ourselves up for failure. We are setting ourselves up to feel inadequate and unworthy. And this, my friends, is the biggest obstacle to personal growth. Our own self-doubt and insecurities. You see, when we compare ourselves to others, we are essentially saying that we are not enough. We are saying that our uniqueness, our individuality is not good enough. But here's the truth. Each and every one of us is unique. We all have our own strengths, our own talents, our own journey. And when we compare ourselves to others, we are robbing ourselves of the opportunity to embrace our uniqueness and tap into our full potential. Think about it. If we all tried to be like someone else, then who would we be? We would be nothing but clones living in a world of monotony. It is our differences that make us special, that make us stand out. And it is when we embrace our uniqueness that we can truly grow and thrive. You see, personal growth is not about becoming someone else or trying to fit into a mold. It is about becoming the best version of ourselves. It is about realizing our full potential and living a life that is authentic and true to who we are. And when we constantly compare ourselves to others, we are robbing ourselves of this opportunity. Now, I know some of you may argue that comparison can be a good thing, that it can motivate us to work harder and achieve more. And I agree, to some extent, healthy competition can be a good thing, as long as it doesn't turn into comparison. But here's the thing. When we compare ourselves to others, we are not competing with them. We are competing with an idealized version of them. We are comparing ourselves to a highlight reel, not the full story. And this is not a fair comparison. But what can we do to break free from the comparison trap and embrace our uniqueness? The first step is to recognize when we are comparing ourselves to others. Awareness is key. Whenever you find yourself feeling inadequate or envious of someone else's life, take a step back and ask yourself, am I comparing myself to them? And if the answer is yes, then remind yourself that comparison is a losing game and it is not a fair comparison. The next step is to shift our focus from others to ourselves. Instead of comparing ourselves to others, let's focus on our own journey, our own progress. 
Let's set our own goals and work towards them without worrying about what others are doing. Let's celebrate our own successes and learn from our own failures because at the end of the day, the only person we should be competing with is ourselves. And finally, let's embrace our uniqueness. Let's celebrate our differences and recognize that they're what make us special. Let's stop trying to fit into a mold and instead, let's create our own path. Let's be proud of who we are and let our individuality shine. Now, to number four. I know what some of you may be thinking. Isn't comparison a natural human tendency? After all, we are constantly surrounded by people who seem to have it all together. Whether it's in terms of wealth, success, relationships, or physical appearance. We can't help but compare ourselves to them and feel inadequate or envious. But I am here to tell you that this mindset is a trap that we must break free from if we want to achieve true personal growth and fulfillment. You see, comparison is the thief of joy. When we constantly compare ourselves to others, we are focusing on what we lack instead of what we have accomplished. We are measuring our worth based on someone else's standards instead of our own unique journey. And this can lead to a never-ending cycle of dissatisfaction and self-doubt. Moreover, comparison can also lead to unhealthy competition. When we are constantly trying to outdo others, we lose sight of our own goals and values. We become consumed with the idea of being better than someone else rather than being the best version of ourselves. And this can create a toxic environment where we are not only competing with others but also with ourselves, constantly striving for unattainable perfection. But let me ask you this. What is the point of competing with others? Is it to prove that we are better than them? Is it to gain validation and approval from society? Or is it to fulfill our own personal desires and passions? The truth is, comparison and competition do not bring us any closer to our goals. In fact, they can distract us from our true purpose and hinder our progress. I want you to imagine a world where we all focused on our own journey instead of comparing it to others. A world where we celebrated each other's successes instead of feeling jealous or resentful. A world where we supported and uplifted one another instead of tearing each other down in the name of competition. That, my friends, is a world where true personal growth and fulfillment can thrive. So how do we break free from the trap of comparison and unhealthy competition? The first step is to recognize that we are all unique individuals with our own strengths, weaknesses, and paths in life. We cannot compare our journey to someone else's because it is simply not the same. We must learn to appreciate and embrace our own journey, no matter how different it may be from others. The second step is to focus on our own progress and growth rather than comparing it to others. Instead of constantly trying to be better than someone else, let us strive to be the best version of ourselves. Let us set our own goals and work towards achieving them without being influenced by what others are doing. The third step is to cultivate a mindset of abundance rather than scarcity. When we compare ourselves to others, we are operating from a place of scarcity, the belief that there is only a limited amount of success and happiness to go around. But the truth is, there is enough success and happiness for everyone. When we shift our mindset to one of abundance, we can celebrate the success of others without feeling threatened or inadequate. And finally, let us remember that true personal growth and fulfillment come from within. It is not about being better than someone else, but about being the best version of ourselves. It is about discovering our own unique talents and purpose and using them to make a positive impact in the world. Now, to number three. As we embark on this journey of personal development, I want to address one of the biggest enemies we face in our pursuit of progress. Comparison. Comparison is the thief of joy, and it is also the enemy of progress. It is a dangerous trap that many of us fall into, often without even realizing it. We live in a society that is obsessed with comparison. We are constantly bombarded with images and messages that tell us we need to be better, do more, and have more in order to be successful and happy. In this never-ending race to keep up with others, we often lose sight of our own journey. But here's the truth. Comparison is a distraction. It takes our focus away from our own growth and development and instead directs it towards others. 
When we compare ourselves to others, we are essentially saying that their journey is more important than our own. We are giving away our power and allowing others to dictate our path. In doing so, we are hindering our own progress. Each and every one of us is on a unique journey. Our experiences, strengths, and weaknesses are all different, and that is something to be celebrated, not compared. When we compare ourselves to others, we are not only robbing ourselves of our own potential, but we are also doing a disservice to the world. We are all born with unique gifts and talents, and it is our responsibility to use them to make a positive impact. But when we are too busy comparing ourselves to others, we are not using our gifts to their full potential. Comparison also leads to a never-ending cycle of dissatisfaction. We compare ourselves to someone who has more money, a better job, a nicer house, and we feel inadequate. And then when we achieve those things, we compare ourselves to someone who has even more. It's a never-ending cycle that only leads to unhappiness and discontent. We are constantly chasing after something that will never truly satisfy us because we are always comparing ourselves to someone else. But here's the thing. Success is not a one-size-fits-all concept. What success looks like for one person may be completely different for another, and that's okay. We need to stop comparing ourselves to others and start defining success on our own terms. What matters is not what society tells us is successful but what truly brings us joy and fulfillment. And that can only be discovered by focusing on our own journey, not someone else's. Comparison also hinders our growth and development because it often leads to self-doubt and insecurity. When we constantly compare ourselves to others, we start to doubt our own abilities and worth. We start to believe that we are not good enough, smart enough, or talented enough. Then this negative self-talk only holds us back from reaching our full potential. We need to start believing in ourselves and our own journey. We need to understand that we are capable of achieving great things, and that our journey is just as important as anyone else's. Now, I am not saying that we should never look to others for inspiration or guidance. It is important to have mentors and role models who can inspire us to be our best selves. But we need to be careful not to fall into the trap of comparison. Instead of comparing ourselves to others, we should use their success as motivation to work harder and become the best version of ourselves. We should learn from them, but not try to replicate their journey. We need to stay true to ourselves and our own path. So my message to you today is this. Comparison is the enemy of progress. It distracts us from our own journey and hinders our growth and development. We need to stop comparing ourselves to others and start focusing on our own journey. We need to define success on our own terms and believe in our own abilities. We are all on a unique journey, and it is up to us to make the most of it. Let's stop comparing and start embracing our individuality and using our gifts to make a positive impact in the world. Now, to number two. As I mentioned earlier, comparison is the enemy of progress. It is a thief of joy and a hindrance to personal growth. And today, I want to share with you why that is, and how we can overcome this destructive habit. First and foremost, comparison creates unrealistic expectations. When we compare ourselves to others, we are setting ourselves up for failure. We are comparing our behind the scenes to someone else's highlight reel. We see their success and assume that it came easy to them without realizing the hard work and sacrifices they had to make to get there. We forget that everyone's journey is different. We all have our own unique strengths, weaknesses, and circumstances. And when we compare ourselves to others, we are not only setting ourselves up for disappointment, but we are also disregarding our own journey and the progress we have made. Secondly, comparison robs us of our individuality. Each and every one of us is unique. We have our own talents, passions, and dreams. But when we constantly compare ourselves to others, we start to lose sight of who we truly are. We try to fit into someone else's mold, and in the process, we lose our own identity. We need to remember that our differences are what make us special. We should celebrate our individuality and use it to our advantage, rather than trying to be like someone else. As Oscar Wilde once said, be yourself. Everyone else has already taken. 
Furthermore, comparison leads to self-doubt and insecurity. When we compare ourselves to others, we are essentially telling ourselves that we are not good enough. We start to doubt our abilities and question our worth. We become our own worst critic, constantly comparing ourselves to others and finding ourselves lacking. But let me tell you something. You are enough. You are capable of achieving great things, and you have the potential to become the best version of yourself. Instead of comparing yourself to others, focus on your own progress and growth. Celebrate your successes, no matter how small they may seem. And remember, comparison is the thief of joy. Don't let it steal your confidence and self-worth. Moreover, comparison brings jealousy and resentment. When we compare ourselves to others, we often feel envious of their success and resentful of our own perceived shortcoming. We start to view others as competition, and we become consumed with the idea of being better than them. But the truth is, there is no competition. We are all on our own journey, and we should be happy for other success instead of feeling jealous or resentful. Instead of comparing ourselves to others, we should focus on our own growth and be inspired by the success of others. Lastly, comparison prevents us from being present and enjoying the journey. When we are constantly comparing ourselves to others, we are living in the past or the future instead of being present in the moment. We are either dwelling on our past failures or worrying about our future success instead of enjoying the journey and the progress we are making. But the journey is just as important as the destination. We need to learn to appreciate the process and the lessons we learn along the way. As the saying goes, comparison is the thief of joy. But gratitude is the key to happiness. Instead of comparing ourselves to others, let's focus on being grateful for where we are and how far we have come. Now, to number one. When we constantly compare ourselves to others, we are essentially telling ourselves that we are not good enough, that we are not worthy of success and happiness. But here's the thing. Success and happiness are not one size fits all. What may be success for one person may not be the same for another. Each one of us has our own unique journey and our own definition of success. So why do we constantly compare ourselves to others? Why do we let society dictate what success and happiness should look like for us? The truth is, comparison is a never-ending cycle. There will always be someone who is smarter, richer, more successful, or more attractive than us. And if we continue to compare ourselves to others, we will always feel inadequate and never truly happy or fulfilled. So how do we break free from this cycle of comparison? The first step is to recognize that comparison is a destructive habit. It serves no purpose in our personal growth journey. Instead, it holds us back and prevents us from reaching our full potential. Next, we need to shift our focus from external validation to internal validation. We often seek validation from others, whether it's through likes on social media or compliments from our peers. But true validation comes from within. We need to learn to appreciate and celebrate our own accomplishment, no matter how small they may seem. We also need to understand that everyone's journey is different. We are all on our own unique paths, and there is no right or wrong way to reach our goals. When we compare ourselves to others, we are essentially comparing our chapter 1 to someone else's chapter 10. We don't know the struggles and challenges they have faced to get to where they are, and it is not fair to compare our journey to theirs. Another important aspect to consider is that comparison often leads to imposter syndrome. When we constantly compare ourselves to others, we start to doubt our abilities and feel like we are not deserving of our success. We start to believe that we are not as talented or capable as others. And this can hold us back from taking risks and pursuing our dream. But let me tell you, you are not an imposter. You are unique, talented, and capable in your own way. Embrace your uniqueness and when of the need to compare yourself to others. Furthermore, comparison robs us of our joy and gratitude. When we are constantly focused on what we don't have or what we haven't achieved, we fail to appreciate the blessings and successes in our own lives. We need to learn to be grateful for what we have and celebrate our own journey, rather than constantly looking at what others have and feeling envious. In closing, my friends, comparison is indeed the enemy of progress and personal growth. 
It leads to self-doubt, low self-esteem, and imposter syndrome. It robs us of our joy and gratitude, and prevents us from reaching our full potential. So let us make a conscious effort to break free from this destructive habit and focus on our own journey. Let us celebrate our uniqueness and learn to appreciate and validate ourselves. And most importantly, let us remember that success and happiness are not a competition. Each one of us is on our own journey, and we are all worthy of success and happiness in our own way. Thank you. Self-appreciation emphasizes acknowledging your accomplishments, recognizing your potential, and understanding that appreciating yourself and your achievements will continually fuel your ambition. It's an integral part of success. You must cultivate a strong appreciation for your own style, methods, and processes. There is no one-size-fits-all definition for success. It's not determined by popular trends or external philosophies. Success is the continuous progress towards your personal goals, which you define for yourself, not dictated by external factors like best-selling books or imposed philosophies. It's not measured by the amount of money in your bank account, but by the steady progress you make towards becoming the person you want to be and achieving what you desire for yourself, your family, and your business. This includes spiritual, health, and personal goals, those that bring you satisfaction and joy. Success is subjective. My definition may differ from yours. There's no universal formula for success, no specific financial status or appearance required. Success is about your own consistent progress towards the goals you set daily, weekly, and monthly for your life, your business, and your family. For example, if someone decides to leave conventional life behind and live in a cabin in the mountains, living off the land, and they successfully achieve it, they are a success in my eyes. Success defies stereotypes. There's no one right way to achieve it. It's a combination of various philosophies and ideologies that resonate with your own beliefs. We need diverse perspectives to broaden our minds, appreciate different viewpoints, and reinforce our own convictions. By exposing ourselves to a wide range of thoughts, philosophies, and ideologies, or listening to different speakers and reading various books, we enrich our understanding and become better equipped to navigate life's challenges. No single source has all the answers. It's the amalgamation of influences that shapes our decisions and relationships. And here's another crucial aspect, a diversity of perspectives. Different viewpoints can be incredibly valuable. Someone might ask, have you ever considered it from this angle? And you might realize you hadn't. So, you step into their shoes, look back, and think, wow, I never thought about it that way before. It's eye-opening. Embrace the wealth of mental stimulation and exercises. Always maintain a thirst for learning. No matter how far you've come or where you stand on your journey to success, keep that eagerness to learn alive. Absorb as much knowledge as you can, then engage in debate. Lay it all out on the table, dissect it, turn it around, scrutinize it, and question it. Don't blindly accept one person's viewpoint as the ultimate truth. Take in their knowledge, but don't let it be the only knowledge. Ensure that your conclusions, your approach, your appreciation of your style, methods, and achievements are truly your own. It's valuable to consider what others say, but don't simply follow it without question. Evaluate the source, then chart your own path. Engage with ideas, take notes, but also engage in debate. Be a student, not a follower. Crafting your ambition is a unique process for each of us. Gather knowledge, then shape your approach based on your own conclusions, not someone else's. Beware of falling for others' philosophies. Collect knowledge, sift through it, find what's valuable, and then develop your own philosophy. Your philosophy should become one of your primary guiding lights. Debate the plans, philosophies, and approaches of others. Understand that these decisions impact everything from your own plan and self-worth to how you value time. Speaking of time, here's a secret. Rich people and poor people both have about 24 hours in a day. What sets them apart is how they manage that time. Simple disciplines, consistently applied, can transform your life, your future, and your income. Discipline is key in time management, too. So, let's discuss a few strategies to manage time better. Firstly, consider ignoring the subject altogether. If you've always struggled with time management, admitting it might not change, at least not immediately. This honest acknowledgement can be liberating. Remember, 
Nobody's ideas of success or time management are one size fits all. It's crucial to resist all stereotypes and models of success so, here's an alternative perspective on time management, ignore it. Don't let anyone pressure you into a rigid schedule. Resist the urge to conform to someone else's idea of how you should spend your time. Take advice, but don't take orders. Accept only the opinions that resonate with you and reject those that don't. Resist all attempts to force you into a predefined model of success. Find your own rhythm and pace, aligned with what feels right for you. Another alternative to traditional time management is to simplify tasks. Instead of tackling overwhelming challenges, consider stepping down to something more manageable. Consider an alternative approach that doesn't demand excessive time or effort. For instance, some individuals in sales are promoted to managerial positions, only to find themselves overwhelmed by the responsibilities. They realize that managing entails long hours and constant worry, prompting them to revert to their sales roles. Similarly, someone may aspire to own a company, only to discover the immense pressure and time commitment involved. They may ultimately decide to step down from such ambitions in pursuit of a more balanced life. Don't allow yourself to be pressured into situations that compromise your well-being. A poignant example is a little girl who yearns for her father's attention. Despite his love for her, his demanding job leaves him with little time for family. In such cases, it might be wise to join a slower group to prioritize family over career ambitions. Reflect on the consequences of your choices. Sometimes, pursuing additional wealth or status comes at the expense of meaningful relationships. It's essential to strike a balance and prioritize what truly matters, such as family. The ultimate alternative to time management lies in maximizing personal productivity. By tapping into your potential, you can achieve as much in an hour as you once did in 10. Focus on efficiency, skill development, and continuous improvement. This approach allows you to accomplish more within a standard workday, making the most of your time. There's a growing trend of remote work arrangements, where individuals set up home offices and telecommute. Freed from office distractions, tasks are completed more efficiently. While not everyone has this luxury, similar principles can be applied in traditional office settings. Establish, do not disturb, times, schedule focused work periods, and prioritize tasks based on productivity rhythms. Personal development plays a crucial role in this process. Recognize your value and leverage your strengths to work smarter, not harder. Understand your optimal work patterns and strive for efficiency in completing tasks. Let me share some additional insights on time management. It's crucial to understand that either you control the day or it controls you. The key to effective time management is maintaining control over your schedule. Often, what happens is that initially, you're in command, but as time progresses, you begin to lose control. Whether it's running a business or managing other responsibilities, it's essential to periodically reassess who's in charge. Remember this fundamental truth. Something will dominate and something will serve. Your goal should be to become the master, ensuring that you dictate the course of your day, your business, or your endeavors. Here's how you can maintain that mastery. 1. Set clear goals asterisk. Keep your goals documented and accessible at all times. Prioritize them based on their importance and relevance to your objectives. 2. Follow a game plan asterisk. Align your goals with a well-thought-out game plan. Separate major tasks from minor ones and allocate your time accordingly. 3. Distinguish major from minor asterisk. Evaluate whether each task or interaction is major or minor. Invest adequate time and preparation in major endeavors, while minor ones may require less effort. 4. Don't mistake activity for accomplishment asterisk. Busy doesn't always equate to productive. Evaluate your daily activities to ensure they contribute meaningfully to your goals. 5. Cultivate concentration asterisk. Focus on the task at hand without distractions. Begin your workday when you're fully engaged and avoid mixing work with other activities like breakfast or commute. 6. Learn to say no asterisk. Be selective about commitments and avoid overextending yourself. Prioritize activities that align with your goals and values. 7. Appreciate your time asterisk. Recognize your limits and prioritize personal time with loved ones. Be mindful of commitments that detract from your well-being or family time. 
Success isn't solely about achieving significant milestones, but also about recognizing and appreciating the small victories along the way. By effectively managing your time and focusing on incremental progress, you pave the way for long-term success and fulfillment.